Hello everyone, Adrian here. So today we are, are doing another absinthe review, super exciting. Now, the reason why we're doing one now isn't necessarily because uh, Ted Bro sent me another bottle. He promises that he will pretty soon. <laughs> super excited about that. But I went to Linwood to find a bottle of absinthe that I knew had a reputation for being made right here in the great state of Washington. Super exciting. Now, being someone who grew up in central Washington state, you know, in Washingtonian wine country, I know that parts of Washington do have a good reputation for good alcohol, particularly wine. So I'm really curious to see how this will shake up. And yes, absinthe made in the U.S. is actually authentic and legal. Who would have thunk? You know, because there's this whole <sighs> terrible misconception that I think is now starting to go away that any absinthe that is available or made in the United States somehow is not authentic because it doesn't have wormwood. We've gone over this, obviously. If it has less than 10 parts per million of thujone, it is allowed here in the United States and means that there are only trace amounts of thujone in American absinthe. And no, thujone is not a hallucinogen, it is a neurotoxin. So there. So the absinthe that we are going to be reviewing today is called Pacifique. And I am super excited about this. Like I said, when I heard that there was an absinthe made in Washington state, I was super excited and proud as a Washingtonian to get my paws on it and review it. As with all of my absinthe reviews, I always reach out to the owner of the distillery in question to let them know, hey, I'm going to be doing a review of your lovely, lovely absinthe here on my channel, and is there anything special you wish to convey to my viewers in my video? So I contacted them and here's what they said. They said open and honest reviews are always welcome because, you know, that's what I'm here for. You wouldn't be watching my channel if you didn't want honest absence reviews and honest absinthe education for that matter. So they say, at the distillery, we serve Pacifique in the traditional French manner of one part absinthe to about 3.5 parts water with a little sugar to taste. Pacifique is made in exact accordance to an 1855 French recipe that was once produced commercially in the 19th century. So as you can see, they're really putting an emphasis on this being a very traditional absinthe based on a recipe from 1855, super cool. So Pacifique Absinthe Veil de Superior is created using only the finest hand-selected whole botanicals from around the world and using only 19th century artisan distiller techniques. Fantastic, good start. Pacifique is made in small batches by hand in an authentic copper alembic post still ensuring old world artistry and craftsmanship. Pacifique is distilled in exact accordance with an 1855 French recipe and is crafted with the traditional botanicals anise, angelica, coriander, fennel, hyssop, melissa, grand wormwood, and roman wormwood. So different types, two different types of uh, wormwood in here. Cool. And can we just talk about how nice and simple this bottle is? This legit, like one thing I really appreciate about this bottle is that it's very simple, it's really not trying to impress you, which is sometimes a really good thing. And this legit does mimic a lot of the designs of pre-banned bottles of absinthe. So I'm pretty excited about it. Now, as for alcohol content, this is 62% alcohol, so 124 proof. So a little bit on the stronger side, but again, um, <laughs> I I can handle it. So I am extremely excited to try this absinthe out and I'm excited to take you guys with me on this journey. It's gonna be pretty fun. Now I will say there is some sad news. My beautiful twisted glass absinthe fountain is no more. I was literally just trying to put ice in it to prepare for this review and the bottom broke. Like a little chunk of glass from the bottom of the bowl holding the ice just broke. So the quest begins for a new absinthe fountain. However, I will say I do have a single serve Bourriel available. 
So all is not lost. I won't have to very carefully pour it over my absinthe glass here. I do have a backup. Thank God. Thank God. So now comes the time for me to reposition the camera and we are going to take a look at Pacifique. I'm super excited. All right, everyone, just to prove to you I have not broken the seal of this bottle, I will go ahead and break it for all to see. I really hope it's just a just a pop-off cork and not a... Okay, good, it's just, it is a pop-off, thank God. Oh, man! <sighs> Guys... This is really good. Whew. It actually has a really nice, pleasant spice to it. I'm guessing that's the coriander that I'm smelling. But wow, that's just by the smell alone is really impressive. I'm okay with that. Yeah, the smell pre louche is really nice. And I detect a tiny bit of something that smells like vanilla. I'm not saying it's vanilla, but ooh, it's really nice. All right, let's check out the color, shall we? Wow. Oh, wow. Guys, can you see that? That is a very rich color. That's even... It's like La Ponte Salienne, but it has a really nice, deeper, like, golden quality. That's really impressive. Wow. So since everything here is naturally colored, but it still has a very intense shade of green here, um, color I would definitely say is four and a half stars. I say four and a half because perfection is near impossible. Wow. This is actually really impressive so far. Oh, guys. Oh my god. I wish, I wish you had smell of vision This smells so good. And now comes the part that uh, breaks my heart the most. It is that I have to use a polier instead of a fountain in order to do the process of the louche. <sighs> it saddens me, I, I know. But hey, a new absinthe fountain is something I can invest in. Like, um... The one I really want to get is the one that has the lady holding up the bowl. Uh, not the lady with the wings, but just the lady looking very sleek and elegant and holding up the bowl above her. All right, let's do this, guys. Get my pitcher out of the way. That is very thick. That's what she said. <laughs> wow, that is really opaque. Look at that, guys, look at that. Do you see that? Wow. Get a little more water in there. Unfortunately, my uh, bruyere is not really doing my seesaw motion that I want it to do, but it's getting the job done. It is very slowly dripping the ice-cold water over Icy Peak. I am actually really impressed by how cloudy this is. That is amazing. And as you can see, as what the camera is picking up for you guys, wow, that is really green. It's showing up a little bit more green on camera than it is in real life, but maybe it's just because of the angle of the ring light here. But this is gorgeous. Color me very pleasantly surprised by Pacifique. No, 
Okay, I will go ahead and end this. Bring my bowl over here so I can get it safely transferred over. I know, not really the uh, prettiest preparation I've ever done here, but it's what I kind of have to resort to because uh, my fountain is broken. Oh, God, I'm so sad. All right, so Loosh, five stars. That is amazing. Like, if, if you tried telling me that this was one of the jades, I would probably believe you from how thick that Loosh is. It's a really pretty shade of green. And... It's just lovely. Look at that. Guys, tell me you're not impressed by that. Come on. So, Lush, I will give five stars. That That's really incredible. Really nice and thick. Looks really nice and creamy. Very opalescent. Very opaque. And very green still. <laughs> so, uh, Pacific Distillery, bravo. Bravo. I'm very impressed by what you've done here. All right. So, now we are going to test the aroma the flavor, and the mouthfeel, and I'll give my final thoughts, but stay tuned. All right, guys, here I have my prepared glass of Pacifique. As you can see, that is a really nice traditional looking absinthe right here. I'm really, really impressed. Seriously. Ooh, gosh. The best way I can describe this is sweet and fresh. Very sweet, very fresh. I think for a connoisseur, they probably would not need sugar with this. There's almost something reminiscent of pine trees in here, and maybe they're trying to kind of bring forth the idea of what Washington State is known for, while at the same time giving a very traditional absinthe. That is, wow. <sighs> Aroma, I will give four stars. It's not really all that pungent necessarily, but it's very subtle and fresh. With that very slight hint of spice, which again, I'm okay with because with uh, the last absinthe that I reviewed, which was uh, Nouvelle Orient by Jade Liqueurs, it was wonderful. And it did have a little bit of a spice and a heat to it. So four stars for aroma, really good. Wow, that's really nice. Ooh, wow. It has a really nice citrusy aftertaste. I like it, I really like it. If you're a really big fan of citrus, then I definitely would recommend this. I'm guessing that lingering like citrusy flavor that I'm getting here is most likely Melissa. And it has a really lovely, lovely, lovely... Oh god, my mouth is watering. <laughs> my mouth is watering just from drinking this. This is so good. And it has a very subtle tingle on the tongue. It's not quite as big as some other brands of absinthe that I've had where it does have more of a tingle. But it's very fresh, very pleasant, and citrusy. So, bravo. <laughs> this is very impressive. Yeah, there is something vaguely pine tree-like about it, but again, I'm not complaining. It's very fresh. <sighs> oh man, that coriander adds just a little bit of edge to it. It's really nice and complex. And I will say the mouthfeel for this is very silky. This is really, really smooth. Hmm. 
It doesn't quite live up to a jade as far as taste is concerned, but it's pretty damn good. Um, I would definitely say that if this did get prepared with sugar, that I think it would appeal to a beginner. Especially if the beginner in question is a really big fan of citrusy kind of uh, flavor profiles, just in general. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. I will say it's not terribly forward on the anise, but I think it's possible they may have done that intentionally because I know that most Americans do not care too much for anise or black licorice kind of flavors. But that's just the American taste buds in general. I would say this is relatively forward on... I would say it's more forward on the hysop and fennel than with the anise, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. <sighs> it's very rich. It is very rich, very flavorful, very complex. But um, again, I wouldn't give it the five star rating that I would give like something from Jade Liqueurs. So either four or four and a half, I would say for taste. Really lovely. I can tell that whoever made this really put a lot of thought and effort into it. And hopefully one day when all this uh, madness is over, I would love to take a tour of their distillery. It has a little bit of that spicy edge to it and that wormwood. Oh, kind of has that rosemary kind of quality that I've detected in previous absinths that I have reviewed. And that rosemary taste is very present here, especially in the aftertaste. I think that's what I'm getting with the kind of pine tree-like quality that this has. But flavor, I would definitely say, is like, oh my god, that is like four to four and a half. Just to be fair, I don't want to give it five stars because five stars implies perfection. But this is pretty damn close. And now that I've polished off the glass, I am getting more of that tingle on the tongue. Really nice. Mm. Really lovely. Even though this is not forward on the anise, it is really good. So if you have someone who is a little reluctant to try absinthe because they're, you know, not so crazy about anise, I would definitely say that this is a good option for them. And it really offers a lot of really nice citrusy flavor. Really nice. So flavor, I would definitely say four, bleh, four to four and a half. Mouthfeel, definitely four and a half stars because that's really smooth. That's really nice. All right, so color, four and a half stars, really lovely. And then for louche, five stars. That's very milky and very lovely and thick louche that only a high quality absinthe can produce. Aroma, four and a half stars, really nice and fresh with a hint of spice, just mm, lovely. <sighs> And then for flavor, four and a half at the most I would give it for, for flavor. And then mouthfeel, I would definitely say four and a half stars. So overall, excellent. This is really, really nice. But for the beginner, if they are going to try this, which it is, it seems to be re readily available in a Total Wine. If there is a Total Wine in your area and you do come across this one in particular, I can assure you it has my badge of approval. So go out and get it. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this absinthe review. I'm hoping there will be another one soon, pretty much as soon as uh, Ted Bro of Jade Liqueurs uh, lets me know that he's going to be sending me another bottle of absinthe to review, then I will get started on reviewing it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of my patrons for your support. It is just so appreciated. You guys have no idea. You all are amazing. I love you and I will see you next time. Bye!